My gosh, so what can I say? Uh, Women of Worth 2019, amazing. The highlights for me, uh, Pastor Pierre Lamar Johnson speaking on continuity and the generational legacy of blessing from family to family. Um, and tonight, or this afternoon, I actually heard about the Holy Spirit being the garment that you put on. And I've never heard it put like that, but the pastor really did a wonderful job. And all the bells and whistles turned again for me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. And I just so thank God. I mean, all the speakers were great, but when Pastor Pierre spoke about continuity, God just brought it to my, uh, so it was so real, because in my own life, my grandparents, passed it down to my father and to my mother. And now the continuity, I'm faced with it because I have to keep passing it on to my offspring and to my grandchildren. I just bless God for this. This just blew my mind. I look forward to Woman of Wood 2020. Pastor Pierre talked about continuity, which was just an amazing word. Um, because we think of praying for our children and passing stuff down to our children, but we don't think of how we're doing it. Um, and he really, really did an awesome job of explaining how we pass things down, and not only how we pass things down, how things got passed down to us, and how important it is to not only pray for our children, but to do, and to show, and to continue the legacy of what Jesus has passed down to us. He was just on fire and amazing, and I was touched um, so much by what he shared today. Yes. Today, Pastor Pierre really set me free from worrying about my children. I birthed my children, but it's God's responsibility to take care of them. I worried and worried about them all the time, my kids, my grandkids, but they are God's, and I have to give them to God and let God do what he has to do with them. And I am okay with that now. I feel free. And with Pastor Bruno, just to release who I am, what God made me to be, I have to feel more confident in who I am because God made me. I don't feel very good about myself half the time, but I am important. I'm righteous in his sight. He loves me. I'm his child. I'm royalty. I am blessed. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Just to touch on the pastors, uh, Pastor B PJ has been a phenomenal blessing to hear what God has done in his life with his marriage and how he's moving and touching uh, and healing him and just bringing him to a place where he wants him to be and where he's um, testifying to all of us in our lives how God will do the same thing for us. He'll heal us, he'll touch us, he'll deliver us. <coughs> Excuse me. And just to hear how God is um, taking us from glory to glory. All of the um, uh, life experiences that we are all going through. And just to know being where God wants us to be right now, we're destined to be here. As Pastor PJ talked, he said, we all were birthed from our mothers or our mother's mother. We destined to be here. Someone prayed for us. Our parents prayed for us. Our ancestors prayed for us. That's why we're here today. We're here today because God has a word for us. And God wants to groom us and bloom us to not only receive and digest and partake of all that he has to impart in us, but to take it out there to others that need what we have and need what God has given us. And so he's truly been a blessing. Pastor Pierre's message totally hit home with me. He talked about we are gods with little g, that we have the same thing in us that God has within him, that he created us in his image. And this just struck home to me because over the last few weeks, over the last few months, I've been going through such difficulties, but to be reminded that I'm still here. I'm still here and that I can declare um, whatever God tells me I can declare. I have the authority to speak and speak the word that he has given unto us. 
And so um, a few weeks ago, I, I woke up in the middle of the night, uh, couldn't breathe, had shortness of breath, and I heard the Lord say, not yet. And so as Pastor Pierre spoke this morning, not yet, that the continuation of what we started we have to leave behind, and even if we don't have grandchildren to leave those things behind, our spiritual children, spiritual sons and daughters, and I think of Pierre and Alex as my spiritual sons and daughters, that there is so much more work for them to do, and if there's anything that I can impart to them, um, it can't be yet, it can't be yet. I have to stand still and decree and declare the works of the Lord, amen. And I just speak over both of their lives that they shall be fruitful and multiply uh, to their sons and daughters and to the body of Christ because their words are powerful. Pastor Pierre, he has such a gift on the inside of him that we haven't even begun to tap. And so I'm so thankful to be here today um, in Women of Worth and to know what my worth is. So, amen. God bless you all. And I look forward to seeing you again next year.